All right, guys, so you are about to see the new vlog, and there's like a bit of a time jump. Some kind of way I lost the footage, or I thought I was recording and I wasn't, who knows. But the last thing you guys saw, I was actually in the hospital. It was like day 16, and I ended up being released about January 20th, so a few days after that last clip. Um, by the time I left the hospital, I could walk. It was tricky at first. My legs were like shaking like this, but um, they were supposed to send me home with a walker, but they decided not to. I didn't care enough to fight it, but um, I went straight to my mom's rather than my house because it would be easier to get help. So yeah, I basically stayed at my mom's from January 20th until now, current time. And... Um, Mainly, I had physical therapists and nurses that came, and I just slowly built up my strength. Um, and you guys are going to see me getting to that point in this video. But basically, the month of February was still basically me being pretty weak and still recovering. And I opted to stay with my mom that whole time. And yeah, I think that pretty much puts us where we are because it's gonna look weird for me just to be in the hospital bed and just jump to what it is now so i thought i would just pop in and i would tell you that part so yeah good morning guys so it is several months later and i'm finally doing something worth picking up the camera for i mainly just been at my mom's house recovering but it's finally time to get my feet done. I haven't had my feet done since maybe the Beyonce concert in August. And here we are in March. So um, my sister was able to give me an appointment at FUMA. That's where we're headed now. I'll see you guys later. But um, we've left the nail shop. I mean, I had them do the works. I want to say callus remover, CBD, pain relief, paraffin and wax. What else? Hot towels. I mean, lotion, it, massage. anything they was offering, I was taking because it's been a minute. And my toenails were literally hurting, so. All is well. Next week, we get the eyebrows done. And um, I have to figure out my hair at this point. Get your legs yes, I want to try to get my legs waxed. I'm going to see if I can. I kind of want to do sugar sugaring. But sugaring is really expensive for your legs. So, I don't know. I may have to just settle for wax. I've never had hair grow on my legs. But since I've been sick, I finally have hair so i'm thinking i'm gonna try that because i feel like i have strawberry legs if you guys don't know what that is it's like where you have like the little dots on your legs so yeah right now we're at starbucks about to try the new lavender drink with lavender foam i'm worried that it's not sweet but hopefully it is we'll see siobhan how do you feel about the past couple of months my sister, by the way, is amazing. She's made me breakfast every morning. And she usually brings me, like, my dinner, too. Like, she'll bring it to my table and everything. Only thing she does not provide is massages. Yeah. I know, but we're getting there. But would you say this is a crazy turn of events? Um, very things planned planned <laughs> <laughs> woo child 
Mm, I'm a mastermind if I could plan this. I mean, yeah. Lose weight. Get weighted on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to get my nails done too, but that stool looked hard as hell. I was looking over at that stool like my my little wound would be like, yeah, we out of here. I knew it couldn't stomach it. But when we get the drinks, I'll come back, show it to you guys, and let you know how it tastes. So this is the drink. Can you guys see the lavender? It's so pretty. Just don't have to finish it. Are they what? I was saying you don't have to finish it even though. They accidentally made a venti. I took it even though I'm the last person in the world who needs a venti anything with caffeine. Just don't finish it. So lavender foam on the ice lavender latte. Ooh, it's good. Mm, mm. Lavender foam on everything from here on out. Even if it don't go. Okay, hey guys, so I never showed you my toes. I got this lime green color. My toes are happy. Okay, let me see. That. All right, guys, it is the next morning and I'm getting ready to start my day. Today is a day where my nurse comes. She's actually here right now and she is about to check all of my wounds and just make sure that everything is copacetic. This is my setup. So yeah, after that, I'm gonna have to run to my house because my neighbor's house, uh, or no, the, the plumbing from the HOA leaked into my house and messed up my ceiling and my wall. So I'm going today for them to fix the leak and then start the process of the repairs. And then I'm just gonna grab some stuff. Come in. All right, guys, so I'm in my car. I have not physically sat behind the wheel of this car since December. So I haven't even sat in it this year. And we are like March 9th or something. So yeah, right now I'm just picking up a few things from my house and then I have to go to Target to pick up um, the umbrush so I can detangle my hair. And yeah, I have a dentist appointment next Monday. I just feel like ever since, like, I don't know what treatments they gave me. I just feel like my teeth are looking real yellow. So, um, yeah, I'm going to the dentist, having my teeth clean, having them look at them and everything. I have a cap that's loose. Just a lot going on. But, yeah, my mom was like, oh, yeah, they're going to charge you, like, $3,000 at the dentist. And my sister is going to the dentist with me. Because when I made the appointment, I couldn't drive originally. And so I'm just going to go with her because that's really a far distance for me to be trying. She's like, yeah, they're going to charge you $3,000. I said, well, me and my sister finna be uh, Krishan and Taseki Because I'm finna be like, uh, you need to punch homeboy. If you talking about some $3,000, okay? I may not have the strength to fight. But she do. Alright, guys. So... Um, I am leaving the hair salon. Oh my gosh. Your girl is finally looking like something. Um, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I have decided though, I had a conversation with my hairstylist that I want a whole new head of hair. Um, so in order for me to do that, it's gonna, I can do it one of two ways. I can cut my hair and keep my hair the same length for like a year. Um, I'm going to go with just cutting off as much as possible and then growing it out and then cutting it one more time to like this level. So yeah, after this hairdo, I am actually going to go for a whole full head of hair, whole new head of hair, just because my hair is a little dry and brittle from all the medications and hospital treatments and it's thick in some places and then thinning in others and I just want a whole new want a whole new head of hair. So tomorrow will be eyebrows 
and I'm so excited. I'm starting to like feel like myself. So yeah, we're done with the hair. I am literally starving. I would have vlogged me coming to get my hair done and everything, but please tell me why. I'm driving down the street. I'm like sipping my little homemade coffee. I haven't been driving in a long time, so I'm listening to music, doing my thing. And this guy's on the side of me, like honking, honking to get my attention. And please tell me why. He's like, mm, trying to get my attention. My first thoughts was, oh my God, he's trying to talk to me. And I was like, Amber, you ain't looking like somebody worth talking to right now. Maybe he needs help with something. So I'm like, huh? He's telling me my hatch was open. Like that was open. I was so shocked. I had to like get over, pull over, get out, close it. But anywho, I'm about to uh, find myself something to eat and head back to my mom's house. But I just want to pop in and show you guys that the hair has been done. The hair, the hair is hearing. All right. Okay, guys, so I've been a <laughs> terrible vlogger. A lot has transpired out of my control. My mom was making us late to the eyebrow appointment. See the eyebrows? But we all managed to get serviced. Um, after that, we went to Starbucks, and now we are here at Olive Garden. So I haven't eaten here probably in like, how many years did you say? At least seven. No, yeah. Like seven years. So. <laughs> That's the one you're already watching. You're already watching that one. It is a new day. I'm chilling here with Bells. Hi, Bo. While she eats some apples and watches cartoons. I want to show you guys some of the stuff I ordered. Um, I haven't ordered much. Um, I did order a few things. I want to show them to you. Ooh. And um, I've been using this like epic white charcoal toothpaste that I think is really helping but I do go to the dentist on Monday. Today is Saturday morning which is why I'm hanging out with my number one here watching some cartoons having a slow start to my morning but I will eventually get up and shower and dress and do all the things but just kind of chilling like a villain. Ain't that right, Bailey? Say, yeah. 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 She's in the zone. All right, guys. So I'm being a bad vlogger only because I have not, I'm rusty. Um, I haven't vlogged since December. And here we are in March. Um, so I just left. Um, Sugar Cove which is the place where I get my um, Brazilian done and um, yeah so finally getting like just general like maintenance done like you saw I did the eyebrows my feet you know now my Brazilian I got I did my hair so just kind of like trying to get back to some normal stance I go to the dentist I'm going to ask him about the bottle i'm just being like completely frank and honest with y'all regarding everything like that is really really bothering me and i don't know what it came from what medication but i'm getting a cleaning hopefully it polishes away i don't know but i'm just keeping it real that's all i ever can do but um right now i'm getting me some starbucks and then i'm gonna head to my house I have not actually gone and walked into, I've been 
physically inside my house since <coughs> hell this year so I'm going to um, go in the house chill for a minute um, I'm not going to spend the night though um, because I still have bandages and stuff that I need assistance with but I'm going to you know get some stuff um, possibly an outfit I want to see if maybe I can make it to church um, I haven't been to church since before COVID physically like I'll watch it but I haven't physically been in the church building um, in California since before COVID I went in Mississippi with my grandma I think at some point but anyways so yeah and then um, my boyfriend's about to meet up with me so he can put some gas in my car and then I'm going to go to the house We'll see, because the stairs are, are going to be staring. So, um, it'll be, um, it'll be interesting to see how I'm able to handle the stairs. Oh my, I cannot, yeah, okay. All right, bye. All right, so, I am... Officially at the gas station, waiting for my gas to be pumped. Oh, it just so happens that when I pulled up, my boyfriend was here with one of the security guards from my building. I guess he had um, hit his rim. Leave it to my boyfriend to be trying to help him. But I guess they got it to where he could at least drive it home but man what pothole did he hit between my house and where I am now <laughs> like I'm trying to let me see some because homeboy had a big pickup truck <clears throat> I'm gonna ask my boyfriend when he come back if he know where the pothole is because I mean of course like you know that's terrible what happened with him but I'm also thinking to myself like what pothole Whoa. So, we shall see. Let me, matter of fact, babe, babe. Yes. What pothole is there between here and the house what? that's that big? Uh, I have no clue. Well, I don't know that he got it on the way coming from work because he don't have work clothes on. Huh? Oh, okay. So oh. I was about to say, I ain't trying to meet that pothole. All right, guys. So, I went to my house. I got a few things. Um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but my neighbor, not even my neighbor. Was, I, I'm not going to even say that. There's plumbing in the ceiling of my unit that goes to the whole building. And that pipe, two of the pipes leaked. So it damaged my ceiling and they had to go on my wall. So um, they've done the repair as far as the pipes. Now I just have to wait for um, the ceiling and the wall to be repaired. But um, it's a potential that the popcorn on my ceiling might be asbestos. So we have to wait to get it tested and then like, go from there or whatever. But so I just went and checked in on that. Um, my boyfriend's been handling all that for me. So, yeah, right now, um, I am at Ralph's so that he could just, like, pick up some things for the house. And, um, <clears throat> then we're going to grab something to eat. I kind of want some Chipotle. And then I'm going to drop him back off. He originally met me at the gas station, but, um, I'm trying to, you know, get more used and comfortable to drive and then I'm more comfortable when somebody's in the car with me so it's all like within the same like stretch or space or whatever so oh yeah so we did that and I probably won't do anything else for the rest of the night I'll probably just go back to my mom's um my freaking scalp is so dry so dry I put some oil some um anti-dandruff uh oil that I have by as I am 
in my cabinet in my hair, but I didn't like brush it through. So it kind of looks a hot mess right now. Anyways, but that's it. Um, that's all I've done. Oh, I do want to show you guys. When I went to my wax place, they had the freaking hand sanitizers that I got the last time I was there. And I got three cents. So you guys remember I got like this scent. But I got three that I haven't tried before. I'm trying to pull it out. So. <clears throat> Ooh, this scent is eucalyptus. This one smells really good, clean and fresh. And where's the other one? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, here it goes. This one is spice. So, and then I have one in my purse. And for this, I mean, okay. And this one is called Vetiver. This one <clears throat> smells like, almost like tree sap. It's like a very plant, earthy scent. Probably wouldn't repurchase. <laughs> almost say that. But these are refillable, so I didn't get any of the scents that I previously had because whichever one I like is the ones I'm gonna buy the uh, the refill for. And yeah, so that's it, guys. I am a boring Betty. Okay, I can never get my parts back. How my stylist. Does it? I just don't know. Maybe it starts here. Maybe it starts here. Maybe it starts here. <clears throat> I don't know. Can never get it. Can never get it back. My um, <clears throat> my bandages have had a <laughs> a day today. I mean, they completely fell off twice but I brought like tape with me and I just had my boyfriend just like tape it back so we got like 15 pounds of tape I think what it is is like the 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 honey sugar and like <clears throat> lemon and the oils and all of that kind of like we probably lifted up a little bit of them and once one corner lifts, the whole thing lifts, but it is what it is. I'll probably just go home. We'll go to my mom's and shower and get some fresh bandages put on anyways. Oh my gosh. I, I kind of wish I had like been vlogging during this whole time because the whole experience with like the home nursing, like <clears throat> when I had the spider bite, I had one nurse. She came at a specific time. I was able to structure my day around her. And when I went back to work, I was able to make it so that she came when I got home from work. So it would be like, um, <clears throat> I would come home from work, I would shower, and then she would come over and she would change my bandages. And then I would like, it, it, everything was fine. This new company is through the hospital. The hospital is sending their nurses to my house and it's always a different nurse some are better than others um it you never know the time they call you the day before and tell you what time they're coming i went from seven days a week to um three days a week to now um to two days a week and now um starting next week it's only going to be one day so i'm happy about that Everything looks good. Um, I didn't have any soreness or pain today going up or down the steps. Um, but the only thing I was like, I was not fatigued, like 
chess wise, it was like, I can't just do one step, two step. You know, I have to do like, I have to engage my core in order to actually move and get up the stairs. What'd you say? Why would I have problems sleeping at night? Because you could just leave me cold. I'm not leaving you cold. I'm not leaving you cold and desolate. Whatever. Okay. Let me have some. No. Let me have some. Okay. We are on to the next place. I am doing a, a Target pickup order. Oh, my windshield. So, um, picking it up for my mom. I mean, the fact that I can technically run an errands now, like, whoa. And then I'm done, y'all. That Chipotle was bomb. So I sat, I just sat like in the parking space that I was at, which was like literally the front door of Chipotle um, with my boyfriend. And we just sat there and we ate or whatever. And it was a dude there with this other dude. And in my opinion, he broke the bro code. So let me tell you what he did. He apparently is friends with this chick that this dude used to date. And he was, like, telling the dude, like, yeah, um, like, a year ago, were you dating her? Because she was saying that she was going to break up with this dude, and she was seeing Eric. He was like, what, she dated Eric? He's like, how long? He was like, I don't know, but she dated Eric. He was like, remember that time that you, she said she was going to a pool party? Like, he was just, hold on. <laughs> it's too funny. He was like, where you want me to put the bags? I was like, oh, you just put them in the passenger seat. And he's like, okay. And he was standing there. And I was like, it, it's unlocked. He was like, I have no idea how to work your door. And I was like, oh, because the, the the handles are flush. They pop out. Like, you know, like how like, like the Teslas do, but not like the Teslas do. Anyways, it was just funny because I haven't driven it so long. I forgot that like the door handles have to pop out for somebody to open the door. But anyways, I'm about to start driving. Oh, no, that's what I was saying but before I forget. He was just like, yeah, and, you know, um, she dated so-and-so. And he's like, what? Like, we were dating. And he's like, look, I'm just telling you what she told me. She wouldn't lie to me. Like, she tells me everything. We're close. And when my boyfriend had went into, um, back into the Chipotle to get me an Izzy, and when he came out, I was telling him, like, what I overheard. And I'm like... He's like, where do they make dudes like that? I'm like, for real. Like, regardless of gender, wouldn't your, like, your loyalty be to your homegirl? You said that y'all close and she tells you everything. And you're over here meeting either her ex or her current boo at Chipotle saying every lie she ever told, everything she ever did. It's like, are you kidding me? That's crazy. I was just like... And it was, like, another dude who was, like, clearly not, like, with them sitting at another table. And he was so enthralled. He tried to walk away, like, twice. But he just couldn't because it was just the tea he was spilling. But, yeah, I was just, like, and keep in mind, I'm sitting in my car. And he's at some tables that are outside of the Chipotle that are, like, at least a parking spot length away so that's how loud he was talking and he's like dude dude like i'm just telling you what she told me like i get it and the dude's like what you could tell like his heart was like literally breaking and the dude's like yeah 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 and you know uh teddy you know teddy who like with the long hair and like the the truck yeah man dude yeah her and teddy dude and he's like what teddy no not teddy <sighs> That's my tea for the day. But anyways, um, I'm about to go. I'm about to pull up out of this parking lot and go to my mom's and relax. Bye. All right, guys. So I went to the dentist this morning with my sister. What is this? Oh, she got this. Okay. I was able to drive. Bailey probably closed it. Here, boo. <clears throat> I 
anyways, I was able to drive there and back. My legs start, got a little tight um, once we got closer to home. But for the most part, I was able to do the drive. My dentist is able to fix the coloring of my teeth. And he did confirm it's basically because of the hospital. Thank you. So right now I'm about to eat kava. Oh, Kava's been having me in a chokehold. I normally get the pita. But today I'm going to try the salad. But we haven't always had a kava. That was really like a Texas thing. And then they just recently put one in Long Beach. But I know for a fact that they've been there long. Because it wasn't even showing up like in DoorDash menu. But yeah. Let me try to put she them right. Crotch, baby. Oh, Bailey thing. say she if she oh, want to so grab her crotch. <laughs> uh, that's a freaky deaky, baby. <laughs> Bailey say, well, they shouldn't be all in my business. <laughs> Ain't that right, Bailey? Oh, this is good and faint. Like... Um, vinaigrette. Okay. Boo boo. You don't want none of that. They look the same. What kind of dressing did you get? Oh, well, they're going to smell similar. Mine should. I thought mine would have been like clear. Here, give me your cup, boo boo. You want some? What was in here? Yum, yum, Milk? Yum, yum. Oh, no. Mama, can you bring me Bailey's cup that had the uh, a clean one? She wants some of my drink. Okay, I'm going to give you some. They keep forgetting the free pita, but this time they actually... Mmm. little free pita about something. Okay. Bailey, see, I'm trying to put the top on you ain't gonna like it like that. It ain't sweet. Yum, yum. Yum. Nope. You don't like it. So, I'm trying to figure out if my dressing is on mine. I'm gonna show it to you. Yeah. I picked you up, but I wanted to show you a few things that I got. Uh, let's start out with my favorite. I finally pulled the trigger. I figured, oh, after everything I've gone through, I deserved to get my huge base bag. This is one size bigger than my brown one, and it has all the same features i've bragged about this bag several times it's in my like christmas last year or year before last like gifts to get people so yeah this will go over luggage it has like the water bottle pocket just everything everything you guys have any questions about the bag let me know and then i got like a full set of like these little mesh bags because these these always come in handy you can carry them with your luggage or just in your purse i haven't decided if i'm gonna replace the ones that are in my actual purse yet or not that took a while to come out oh and then i decided to pull the trigger on something I've been seeing and been wanting. I wanted a leather hat. And then I also wanted to support Teflar as a black designer. Um, but I don't care for the purses. Except for that new little small one. So this is the hat that I got. It's like a caramel leather color. It's pretty good quality. Um, from my understanding, this is real leather. But who knows with Teflar. A lot of their stuff isn't real leather, but 
cute. I realized when I got sick and my hair, I was unable to sit down to get my hair done. And my sister was washing my hair for me that I didn't have enough hats. So I got fats and then I also got this made on Amazon. I'm thinking about adding something like this to my merch, but it's just this Malibu Stacy, and it's like a little denim hat. It's cute, kind of goes with everything. So yeah, that's um, pretty much the stuff I wanted to show you. Other than that, I got some gowns, underwear, just stuff like to, to lounge around the house in. You'll see me in it. Please don't move that boo boo. Okay. My niece took my tripod. Um, yeah, it's. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, you'll probably see me in my vlog and I'll reference it like, hey, this is one of the, you know, outfits I got or something like that. So, yeah. Can I have my tripod? Boo boo. Go to sip your juice first? Okay. Take the TT. Can I have it? The TT. Can I have it? I can't tell me. You you know you know what you're doing at this point, huh? Okay. Stop, 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 stop. Bailey. Alright. Well, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Boo Boo. She decided that I could have it back. Okay. So Thank you, Boo Boo. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the what I forgot to show you guys is right before I got sick, I had started reading this book. Um, I don't know if you guys remember because it's been like a three month gap with my vlogs, but I was in the middle of reading my sister's newest series, um, the Crenshaw King series, and um, book one was a marriage favor. Then book two was Wait For You. And then this is the third one, which is, I have to look because we ain't going to have no more of me messing up titles. Um, Love Letters from a Gangster. This is my favorite. And I say that with like apprehension only because I really, really love the other two. Um, I love different aspects of each book. Like in the first book, I just loved how everything unfolded and how everything came together. I liked the way the characters were introduced. It kept my attention the whole time. It even had twists in it that I wasn't as expecting. And um, yeah, it was just, it was like a good, a good entryway to like strong black love. I feel like in that first one. In the second one, I just fell in love with the love story itself, which somebody like me normally once people get together, I'm no longer interested. Like, I don't want to read the hymns in the halls and you frolicking and skipping to the loo. But it was different with this book because I was just, like, so invested in the love story. And I enjoyed watching them grow and go. I, I think and a lot of that has to do with the fact that those characters you meet at a very young age. And then in this book, they're older. So to kind of see the growth, it's like... It's almost like they were real. Like you literally saw the actual growth. And a lot of authors forget to do that. They leave out that part and they just hop to this. And it's like, how did that character become this person? Where where did that take place? But I think it was a very good job of doing that. This one, however, I fell in love with the actual male character. Which, trust me when I say that, never really happens for me. It's only happened a few times. But yeah, he's Bay And... I loved his, the way he treats his mom, his relationship with his brothers. I like the way he moves, the way he handles business. Just, you know, everything about him was just consistent. He was a very consistent character. So this is one of my favorite books in the series. It is currently my favorite book in the series. Um, and my sister just dropped the fourth book in this series. And, um... I ordered it. It's supposed to be coming from Amazon, but I ordered the hardcover. So, um, it told me it was going to be delayed before I did it because I literally bought it the day that it, the hardcover was available. So, I will show that to you guys when I get it. But I didn't read much in the hospital. I actually didn't even finish reading this in the hospital. I basically finished it when I got out. Since then, I've tried to read a couple of things, but... 
um, it hasn't really stuck. You know, my sister was laughing over here because she knows, like, it, it hasn't really stuck. Um, I read, I'm trying to think. Okay, I read a book by Casey Mills called The Lone Wolf. That book was good, but it's a short book. It was only like 76 pages. Um, what else did I read? Oh, Bride. It's like a paranormal book by Allie Hazelwood. She writes like the love theoretically and the... What's the other book she's known for? Love on the Brain. She writes all those and she wrote a paranormal book called Bride. That book, I think I want to say I gave it like three stars or something like that. It was it was okay and I'm actually into the whole werewolf vampire thing. So if you're not into that, I don't think you would like it because it didn't even butter my biscuits like I thought it would so I tried to read for the fans but um like I said it was just too much back and forth and it it, it it's a good story but I it's 800 pages and I felt like I got enough of what I needed at the halfway mark so I didn't finish that um I started this book called Row I got about 10% in, didn't, didn't, didn't finish that. Then I started, I could go on and on and on. It's been a couple of books. But anyways, I said I was going to start reading this. It's been a rough start. Um, it's a fake dating between two werewolf shifters. Now, when they first said it was a werewolf shifter romance, I thought maybe she was a shifter and he was a werewolf. I didn't know that this author calls werewolves shifters, which that's debatable. Okay. For those of you who are into that kind of stuff, that's that's debatable. But I wanted to show you the huge book haul that I did. I want to say um, for Christmas, my sister got me a gift card. And then I had some points. And I had not used my book budget. So I just went crazy. So I'm going to show you the special editions first. I actually got this one from my sister because she has the first one and she was waiting for um I think she was waiting for this to come out in paperback to match the fact that she already had the first one in paperback but it was only in hardcover and then they dropped this little special edition sprayed edge edges so I just added it to my cart because I'm amazing like that and here's the funniest thing I don't know if you guys remember, but in my last vlog, I did a book haul and I told you guys that I went to Barnes and Nobles to get a certain book, I went to the counter with it, and the woman did not ring it up. And my sister was like, I'll go back and get it for you because like a limited edition book. She went back and it was gone. And I was so mad. Well, it wasn't gone, peeps. She bought it for me and gave it to me for Christmas. So, this is Archer's voice. You guys, I just want to point out, my niece talks so much now. I'm sure, like, previous vlogs, like, you didn't hear her. But now, like, I promise you, she's, like, taller. She talks. She's, like, a whole new baby, okay? So, yes. Baby girl is in the background talking. And I love every minute of it because it's so cute. She says things like, where her go? And she's such a busybody. But anyways, I was so happy that my sister was able to get this for me. Um, I probably won't read this one. I'll probably read another one, but happy I got it. I'm going to try to go through this a little bit fast because, child, we got a lot. My sister accidentally got two of these. So she gave me one. Wow, Bells. Okay. Um, I got this Lynn Painter book. It's a YA romance book uh, called The Do-Over. This isn't the original cover. This is like a special edition that I just had to have. <clears throat> Wowzers. Okay, then I got a new Freedom McFadden book called The Teacher. I just recently read Never Lie. That was pretty good. Gave it 4.5. Um, she wrote The Housemaid, so she's one of my faves, too. And then I got, I want to say this is book four 
of the uh, Ice Planet Barbarians. Y'all know it's my guilty pleasure. I don't feel no type of way about people wondering. Okay, Bailey put things in here. Um, so I got this special edition. Ooh, it's sticky. Book. <sighs> the Joys of a Toddler. Um, this special edition sticky series of uh, Crescent City. Uh, this is the House of Sky and Breath. I just thought it was so pretty, this limited edition. Will I read this series? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, this is book two of that same series called House of Earth and Blood. Book three is already out. I like how it's like a hardcover, softcover thing. But yeah, book three is out, but it doesn't... It's not like this, so I have to wait. Um, this is the book I was telling you about, Bride, that I read. It was okay. It says it's a Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Can't for the life of you tell you what made it different from the others. Um, and then we have, of course, Book of the Month, which I kept going. This is Heartless Hunter. Don't remember what it was about, but I'm pretty sure it's fantasy. Yeah, it's a fantasy book. Fantasy romance. Romanticy, as they like to call it. Um, then I got, this is another Allie Hazelwood book. This is her introduction to YA. A lot of people feel some type of way about it because usually YA does not have any, like, which is stands for young adult, doesn't have, like, any sex or anything, you know, like that in it. And apparently this book does. So didn't know that and then i have been seeing this book for at least for a long time and i've been saying that i was going to read it it came up in book of the month i had extra credits so i went ahead and i got it this was like 12 dollars, whereas normally a hardcover like this would be significant oh 30 dollars has the price right there so that was a steal Book of the Month is always a steal. Oh. And then I also was able to get this on sale too. I thought the cover is so cute. It's called Imogen, um, obviously. Basically, it's about this woman who finds out that she's gay or something like that. I, I, I thought the cover was beautiful. But I know she got a lot of backlash because a lot of people were saying that they don't think that this is true. They don't think this is like what happened with her and they don't think she's gay which that's just crazy to me i don't know how anyone can make that some that assumption um but yeah i, I want to say that's all the books so yeah um a part of me wants to give the books to my boyfriend oh <clears throat> and have him take them to my house but the other part of me is like i guess i go so back and forth between what I want to read and what I don't that I'm just honestly thinking I'll just keep it here until I go home so we'll see we will see but I'm slowly but surely trying to get myself back into um the reading and the thrill of reading I still have the thrill but I get kind of I don't know how to explain it. It's like, I don't know. I feel like I, if I read, I read a really good book. And then it's hard for me to stop comparing other books to that book. So, the last good book I read. Well, no, no. I, I, before, it's been a minute. This was the last one I had read. The last good book I had read. And then I didn't get another good book until Never Lie. Um, so, and that we're talking about. December, and then hopping over to, I just finished that book Monday. Wasn't it this week? I want to say I finished it this week, so. Whatever that means to you. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. Bailey, do you have anything to add? No? Yay? Okay. Well, that's something to add. Anything else? 
Oh no? Okay. Anything else? No reason. Oh, okay. All right. She's up in arms about something happening. But all right, guys. Uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I'm going to be going to the dentist. I don't even know if I explained that he said basically the discoloration that I'm seeing is from the hospital, being in the hospital, because they give you such terrible toothpaste and toothbrush. And he was like, it's not a problem. It'll easily come off. And um, he used the tool and got and showed me in one tooth it came off. So I have scheduled a deep cleaning for what is that like two weeks i want to say it's like a week or two weeks away oh it's gonna cost me eight hundred dollars which i'm not happy about but seriously who's gonna go around looking like this actually starting to look a little bit better you may not get that little eight hundred dollars but anyways guys that's all i have for you guys in this vlog and uh see you next time that's how we follow. That's how we follow. That's how we follow. That's how we follow. That's how we follow.